Hello everyone, using Cameo Studio uh, version 2.6, I wanted to talk about the software that I found called DOSBox uh, 0.74, pretty good program. Uh, what it allows me to do is to actually using my old DOS programs, and I have quite a few playing games or whatever, and uh, this particular one I want to use in the demonstration is one that converts MIDI file data into chords and that's called midchord.exe but anyway what I want to do is using this to demonstrate that and here's how you go about it here's uh, DOS box here's where you download it you basically click download and you see the Windows version there's a number of versions here and I'm using Windows, so I clicked that, and it was an easy install for me. So, not much to do there. Um, in order to make this go, basically, you find out where it loaded, or where it's saved in your computer. I basically saved it at the top level of my C drive, which made it easy. And I saved the program, I mean, program files, the EX, uh, X86 um, versions. And so it's in there, and there it is, DOSBox and it's in that location so I'm need this file information so I'll just basically copy that out and save it and uh, so I can use it later but this is the file I want to launch inside a batch file so I'll basically go back to the top level here's where I loaded my uh, DOS files and this particular one called MIDI Core, which I mentioned earlier and here's the area which I loaded it to and all I want to do is uh, um, create a notepad file so I happen to have a, a test, doc, test doc here so I'll go ahead and just load that one and do a save as feature file save as and just do zero 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 dot that makes it easy you can indeed be more descriptive it might be helpful if you are uh, so I'm loading it into that area. So I'll do a save. And what I'll do is just go ahead and do a directory change because this is going to load up. And I'll take the directory that I just copied, which is where that program is. So I want to change to that directory. And when I get there, I want to launch DOS box, which is the name of that file. .exe. If all is well, this should launch it up. So I'll save it. Click it. Worked. Now all I have to do is mount it it does talk you through how to go about mounting it typing here and I won't do that because that's on the internet already and uh, um, now I want to do is a uh, uh, mount DOS box I just launched it and I want to make sure within the code within the command line information which you can find on in the manual I actually found this on the uh, uh, internet website that basically was gig IT that basically talked about the mounting format which this is the information right here and so I translated that to work on my machine and here's how I finally got to where I needed to be uh, with the MIDI chord information which is where my batch file is and that's what I'm trying to launch my batch file it's in this particular directory and as you can see I'm putting all of those in quotation marks so this is the code command line code command for DOSBox ESC so I'm mounting it once it's mounted you need to change to that drive so you're mounting a hard drive and then after you change to that drive you basically launch your batch file and uh, um, my batch file is here and it's called zero 
zero zero, but the one that I'm going to be and using the information out of here is what it's called CH2T3 and here's what's in it it's basically going to run the EXE with this parameter you see I got four different parameters and it's going to load this MIDI file into this area so that's what I'm going to do simple little MIDI file can't see that it's beautiful Let's see. So, and here's that MIDI file. And what I did was just record a bunch of chords in that MIDI file. Which would be pretty standard. It's pretty play standard. And uh, it basically launched it up in a cakewalk program that I have. So here's what. So basically, a bunch of chords that I just recorded in a bunch of times just to demonstrate and see how the program works. So with that in mind, that's the one I want to launch. Take that data, that information, plug it back into my batch file with the dot bat command. I'm not sure if you need it, but it works. Once I'm done, I'm not going to pause it. I'm going to exit out of that. And the bat file that I created actually has an exit command in it also right there. So it should go, circle, exit, do its work, show it here, and that's what I want to do. So file save, and we'll give it a go. So double click zero zero. Here's DOS box. It launched it. It mounted it. It changed to the directory. It launched the batch file, and here it is in action right here. I'll move this down just a little bit and in the window the text file is not done yet so it's going to be text file one two oh so there's text file two here's the text file one you see it did chord translation probably not totally accurate I have to think about that but at least it gives me the bare bones chords up to the seventh and I know within the chord structure I have some ninths 11th and 13th so and here's what it looks like for each each half of the um, of the measure so this is the first and this is the second half of the measure so it was a C followed by a C minor 6 so I'm pretty pleased I put in a lot of different types of chords so I should if it was fully accurate to the 13th see all different types of chords here but that was two and you can see it's still running this on the fourth Here's the fourth here, which is not done, but the third is done. And that parameter was just information only, and all is the fourth one. So it works. A program that would not work on my uh, Windows 7 platform now functions using DOSBox. I love it. Thanks, DOSBox.